What's up, man? It's your big brother K Reno. Um, I'm gonna go into this whole uh, Kanye thing real quick, but what I want y'all to understand is that this video is not about Kanye West. What he said concerning Harriet Tubman, for me, it just gives me an opportunity to um, to speak on Harriet Tubman and to also hopefully to educate you guys on how to take a ignorant statement that somebody makes and formulate it into an opportunity to, um, to build with your family, your children, and those who may not be aware of the accomplishments of one of our great ancestors. So, you know, Kanye made the comment, he said that Harriet Tubman didn't really free the slaves. He just took them to where they could work for different white people. I'm not dealing with that because there are a lot of different reasons that I have in my mind, opinions of why uh, this guy is going down those, those roads. Anytime um, you have black people who seek the favor of growth in the white establishment, um, they have to do something to score points. They have to do something to build themselves up and, and, and reach those levels. He's always been that kind of guy. But Miss Harriet Tubman, man, was a, there's really no words to describe her. She had the courage of probably a thousand men. This is a woman in a time of slavery, in the mid 1800s, who had the courage to escape a plantation on her own. That was enough right there. But when she reached her destination, she thought enough of individuals who were still enslaved to go back to get them. And she did this about 13 times. There are accounts that say more, but the more consistent accounts that I've read up on have been around 13 trips that she made in what is now called the Underground Railroad, which is really just the route that she took. This is a woman who, of course, being a slave, couldn't read, couldn't write because black people were not allowed to do that. But she could read in other ways that those who were able to actually read words could not. She could read the stars. She could read the, the lay of the land. She could read people and she could read situations because she would have to go when she needed to go and stop when she needed to stop. So in that regard, she was one of the greatest readers. And though she couldn't write, by doing the things she did, she was able to write herself into history. That's why we're still talking about her right now in 2020. So, an ignorant um, status motivated, shock value motivated comment made by an individual cannot take away the accomplishments of Harriet Tubman. And we gotta be very careful with that sort of thing because this is not for us, it's for the young people coming up behind us. We have to bolster up the names of our heroes and ancestors who are who have done things that are responsible for us being here right now and not let anyone tear that down, not let anyone come along and, um, and destroy that. 
this woman had such a great uh, belief and faith in God that she had no fear because the consequences of her getting caught would have been so extreme it would have been so dire for her and for whoever she had with her because a lot of the people that she would bring with her, they were scared they wanted the freedom but they weren't always willing to sacrifice and take the chance she could have stopped when she got free and she made a famous quote that said that she freed a lot of slaves but she would have freed a lot more had they known they were slaves she had to pull guns on some of these cats to make them come and be free now we're in 2020 now where you can get up and go where you want to go sometimes you can for the most part you can do what you want to do you live, you live a pretty relaxed um, existence so the question would be should we allow an individual what should be the consequences for an individual who comes along and speaks in such a disrespectful manner about one of our ancestors one of his own ancestors what should be the consequence for a cat like that if we're going to hold other people accountable for what we what they do we got to hold our, ourselves accountable as well we have to make it the same way that other groups of people make it on us when they say and do things that are out of pocket we got to put the weight on them and we got to put the weight on ourselves so people won't even be comfortable or feel like it's okay to even make a statement like that and I know what you're thinking some of y'all because people who are apologists for guys like that they always find a way to twist it and say well that's not what he really meant see y'all don't get where he was coming from he man y'all look so ridiculous when you make those kind of statements man you got individuals trying to score points and show their loyalty to a white supremacist establishment by tearing down one of the greatest black figures of all time. So we gotta teach our children the true history. We gotta teach them the lessons uh, that will absolutely secure the legacies of people like Harriet Tubman in their minds to where when they hear nonsensical comments like that, they will immediately reject them the same way that sister did when she was filming and he, when the second that came out of his mouth, he said, okay, she said, we're leaving, we're gone. Because a lot of the people who criticize or disrespect great people like Harriet Tubman would not have come anywhere close to carrying out the mission that she carried out. Do y'all think Kanye West, not only, do y'all think he would have had the heart to even initiate something like the, the Underground Railroad to escape on his own? I contend that a lot of these cats wouldn't even have the heart to, to go with her when she came back to get them because a lot of those kind of people were like that back then. But when you got an individual who was always clamoring 
to be up under the wing of the establishment. He always wanted for the big money to sign his clothing line. He always wanted the big money to, to, to finance and sponsor his business efforts, never to do it himself. Do you think that he would be one of the people that would have went with Miss Harriet Tubman when she was trying to free fools like him? Nah, he stay back. Might be one of the ones that go tell it. So, let's teach our children the history, man. And I guess I didn't stay true to my word because I, 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 I didn't want to make him the focus, but it's hard to discuss what he said without your mind reverting back to how buffoonish his actions and activities were concerning that. 13 trips, man. Not two, not five, not eight. 13 trips. Relying on God and her God-given instincts and relying on the driven in determination to exercise the innate desire to be free. Something that God grants all of us, but for black people, man took away. So shout out to Harriet Tubman. We don't want her face on y'all's $20 bills. I don't even know if that conversation is still in the air. It was it was always a joke to me. Your money is not worth, it's not worthy of having her face on it. All right, man, I appreciate y'all. This your big brother, K. Reno. Catch y'all later. Peace.